Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Casey. I do a ton of different types of videos, so please give them a watch. And if you're interested in any of my content, please consider subscribing before you leave. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite drugstore products that are under $10. Um, to be honest, I only use drugstore products for my hair. Oh, did I say it was for my hair? I didn't mention that. It is hair care products. So I'm not like a high-end person at all really, but I am gonna show you what I use currently on my hair and what works for me. And hopefully you can take some of these products and give them a try. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is what I wash my hair with. Currently, right now, I'm using this Fructis Garnier. Ugh, I can never say it right. Garnier Fructis. It's the Pure Clean line. And it does not have, it's silicone free and paraben free. It is a vegan formula. Um, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I'm being 100% with you, my hair is kind of like one of the better qualities that I have. I don't really care for like, I don't care about a lot of like shampoos, like if they have sulfate, sulf, sulfates or whatever in them, as long as when I wash my hair, it doesn't end up oily because I tend to have that issue with my roots. Um, so right now this currently is a good one that is working for me and it doesn't leave my hair oily right away and my ends aren't super dry. So I am loving this combination here, the shampoo and conditioner. Something that I like to use on my hair after I shower is this Pantene Conditioning Hair Mist and Detangler. So this adds moisture and hydration to the hair. So this is something you just spray in your hair when you get out, it's still wet. You can use it as a detangler to get all your knots out and then you just leave it in, you don't wash it out. So I really like this because it gives my hair a nice good shine. Um, when I go to style it, you can see more shine in there. And yeah, I just like the way it like conditions the ends of my hair. I didn't, I, I didn't say the prices on these because I don't remember. I'll have to look them up. But I will, when I show the product, I will show you how much they are. Next thing I want to talk about is doing a hair mask on your hair every, every once in a while or like a treatment on your hair. So I don't have a specific one. I will just go to Walmart usually and pick up one that's like two dollars or less but the one I currently have right now that I haven't used just yet is this color treatment and highlight hair defense so it's an intense protein treatment so these are the type of um, things that you kind of just like leave on your hair let it sit for two to five minutes and then rinse out I do recommend doing these every once in a while just to keep your hair healthy and hydrated and especially if your hair is colored mine is lightly colored right now I actually did this color at at home on my own and I was gonna film that but then I didn't know I was kind of worried of how it would come out and it actually came out good so I wish I would have filmed it but I actually just used one of those box ombre um, kits that I got from I think it was Target and yeah so it's not like super colored but I did use bleach on this so if your hair is colored or you have any if you used any type of bleach on it I do recommend using a hair mask just to you know keep your hair alive and not help it die I don't know. another few things that I like to um, use it's this beach babe dry shampoo so this is the not your mother's brand which I really like um, I have this bigger one which is a toasted coconut co uh, flavor oh not flavor because you don't eat it they recommend whoever they are recommends that you wash your hair every three days two to three days which I actually do I um, usually go two days and then by the third day my hair is like hella nasty so I just wash it because I have oily roots like I said especially in the summer because I'm a sweaty person on that second day I do usually like to use a dry shampoo when I wake up and style my hair I will just spray it on the roots to kind of absorb that excess oil and so I don't look so greasy because as soon as my hair starts getting greasy it starts getting flat and I hate that I don't really oh, I don't like the filling I don't like the look so I'll usually spray it in there and kind of give it a little bit more volume and so yeah I do recommend to that every girl has this especially if you have oily hair if you don't have oily roots I mean yeah whatever but if you do 
get you some of this. I have a small one that I can take anywhere with me and just put it in my purse. So love these. And I think that's pretty much a staple for everyone. Most people have dry shampoo, right? So that is about it. I don't use a ton of products on my hair. Um, I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to that. I don't even use hairspray. When I style my hair, I do not use hairspray. I'm lucky enough that it stays and my curls usually don't fall flat. So I don't even own hairspray. I have two little girls here at home and we don't even use hairspray. Like I use other things, but not hairspray. Okay, I mentioned hairspray and that made me think of the product that I do use on mine and my, my girl's hair. When I'm like putting a slick ponytail up and I need the hairs to like go back, instead of using hairspray, I actually like to use this Maximum Strength Softy Herbal Grow Herbal Oil. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing, especially for like slicking back your hair. I actually will use it like on my baby hairs um, when I do like an updo and I have those stubborn baby hairs. I actually just use a toothbrush and I'll just get some of that and just like if you can see here just kind of brush those down and it just like makes it look just a lot better so yeah that is something that I do like to use on mine and my kids hair um, is this herbal oil formula and we've had this for a long time so don't ask me where I freaking got it from but it smells good and we've had it for years <laughs> taking vitamins for your hair is also a good thing I think personally when I take vitamins for my hair, I don't see a ton of difference, but I still do take it because why not, right? So one of the, the vitamins that I do take are these Heartbreaker, Heartbreaker hair gummies. So they have um, biotin, folic acid, and vitamin A. So it's a hair, skin, and nail vitamin complex put together. And I actually was sent these for free by the company to try out and I've actually been using them as you can see they're pretty much halfway gone and they're really good they taste just like a what do you call it a little fruit snack that your kids get from the store just like a little heart shape oh how cute and then pop that right in my mouth so I eat two of these a day um any 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 type of like vitamin like a hair gummy vitamin that has biotin folic acid vitamin a you can't go wrong with eating some extra vitamins an honorable mention hold on let me finish my an honorable mention that i want to say is i bought this halo kiwi seed booster um clear going glowing skin formula and i actually have two left in there but I bought this because I thought it would clear my rosacea and it didn't. But I do want to mention, since I'm doing a hair video, while I was taking these, um, I did notice that my hair was growing a little bit faster. So I don't know what's in here. There's a ton of vitamins in here. So yeah, maybe taking vitamins is kind of good to help you, especially if you want to grow your hair. I didn't notice any difference in like shine and how it looked, but it did help my hair grow a little bit faster when I was taking those so that's an honorable mention that's not drugstore that can be ordered on the Halo Beauty website if you're not familiar with that, that that's Tati Westbrook's um, brand and these are not drugstore obviously they are ordered um, you can order these online and I will put the info for these um, in the description box and I do believe I have a code that you can get I think it's like 30% off I'm not quite sure, but I do have a code that you can get some money off for purchasing these online. So that being said, it's been a while since I've um, done a hair video. So I just thought I'd come on and share with you the things that I'm currently using. Um, another thing I want to say about hair is I try to use minimal heat. I've done a hair video on my channel. And I kind of pretty much said the same thing, but this was like two years ago, so I'll just say it again. I try to use minimal heat on my hair. I shower at night, so I let my hair air dry overnight. I do not blow dry it, unless I have like something that I'm doing and I shower in the morning and blow dry it, but I usually try not to. 
Um, I do curl my hair and I've always had this hair. I mean, I, I kind of just always had this hairstyle for like a long time now. I don't really switch it up. Um, but I do curl my hair almost every day. And when I do, I don't use a heat protectant, but it may be good if you use one. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below what hair products you use or if there is something that you think that I should try because I'm always open to try new things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.